All right, topic 18 out of 20. Uh, how many of these have you actually watched? Uh, if you've watched more than one, great. If you've watched all of them up to this point, that's fantastic. It can, it can only help you. Uh, for a question like this, uh, if you connect the midpoints together of any triangle, what you create is a triangle that's similar, that is half the size is the, of the original. So I'm going to show you here in blue that that's true. If I connect all these midpoints together, the midpoints of all three sides of a triangle, I create a triangle that is quarter the area but half the length. So I end up getting four, actually five similar triangles in total based on this picture. So let's say that the distance from top to bottom here is 20. That means that this is 10, and this is 10, and this is 10. Just by the way that the similar triangles work. If uh, the distance from here to here was, suppose it was 30, then I would get 15 for this measurement, 15 for this measurement, and 15 for this measurement. And lastly, if the bottom of the triangle was worth, the base here was worth, suppose, 7. It couldn't be 7. It would have to be more than 7 to, for this to be a triangle. So suppose that it was 11. Or tw I'll just make that a 12. Suppose that it was worth 12. Then I would know that this measurement here is 6, this measurement here is 6, and this measurement here is 6. So the perimeter of the outside triangle is 30 and 20 and 12 at 62. For the large triangle, the perimeter of the small triangle is half the size. It'd be 15 plus 10 plus 6. So 31. All right, here's another question that's very similar to it. You're connecting the midpoints of a triangle all together to form another triangle. We know that MN is worth 8, ML is worth 5, and NL is worth 6. So now they're starting us with information that's inside the triangle, and we can take that information and go outside the triangle. If, if LN is 6, then those two sides happen to be 6. If MN is 8, then those are 8s, and then that would mean that these are both 5s. Now, I didn't even read the question yet, but I know all the measurements of all those segments just based on the little triangle alone. They want me to find the perimeter of the trapezoid B, M, and C. So the trapezoid B, M, and C. They don't want to know all three of those lengths together. They want to know how big that trapezoid would be. It's formed by all four of those points. So... To get the question right, you'd have to just add together 6 plus 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus another 8 and go all the way around that trapezoid, adding those all together. So it would be 6 and 8 and 5 and 8 and 8. So 8, 16, 24, 24 and 11 is 35. I bet there were a lot of students on the test that just added together 6 and 8 and 5. Let's see if that's one of the wrong answers. 6 and 8 and 5 would be 19. Oh, they didn't put that as one of the choices, so uh, that could actually have been, uh, that was actually nice of them not to try to trick you that way, but that's how that goes, and that's the end of that topic.